Good morning, everyone. And here is a continuation of our uh, of revenge essay, uh, where we start where we stop our last video in the paragraph public revenge. So here, uh, Bacon uh, lastly ends the essay by arguing that public revenge on the most past for bad leader rules for is fortunate. So here he says that public revenge is almost needed. Why? Because it has some fortunate rules. He gives examples of the public death of Caesar. So we know that uh, the, uh, the public death of the Caesar, Partinex, and Henry III of the France, Caesar was killed for, uh, by uh, his own friends around him while going uh, to the parliament. And Partinex, he's a Roman emperor, uh, while he was in his throne, uh, he was killed by thousands of people. And uh, finally, the Henry III of France, he's also a very uh, cruel man. Uh, so in public act of revenge, there is a huge lesson for the public and rest of the people. So why? Because it set an example for others, while the private revenge, on the other hand, makes a person who nourishes evil desire for others to live a life of witches. Such life is full of rascals, so they end unfortunately. So here he say, uh, Bacon encourages this uh, public revenge. Why? Because it brings fortunate to the people around. And uh, here is a, a bit of literary analysis of our essay of revenge. In the essay of revenge, Bacon presents the extremely reasonable argument contrary to the private revenge and recognizes public revenge on the most part is fortunate. He calls revenge while justice. Such contrast is made by him to show the animalistic nature of the revenge. It is a characteristic of an animal to avenge, not of human beings as they are entitled to forgive and show compassion to their fellow beings. Bacon's essays are characterized as brief but highly com comprehensible. Just as by a single statement of why justice he present the whole picture of human and ani human as animal life. Moreover, Bacon argues that the first wrong is overseen by law, but avenging it is out of the law. To avenge is a distorted distortion of the Law. So here uh, the analysis comes uh, goes like this. Bacon, uh, Bacon's essay is really comprehensible. Why? Because this essay was written long number of years ago, and even now, during the twenty first century, we read this uh, essay and we really feel that it is very useful, uh, not only for the people, uh, uh, elderly people, but also for the young people also. So in this way, Bacon's essay is so much comprehensible. Though it is a brief essay, it is very com comprehensible. And this person, Bacon, argues continuously about why we want to take revenge on somebody. As we have a beautiful life ahead, present, we have to think about the present, future and everything and not the past, which is already over. So th this essay appeals to one's wisdom of ethical supremacy when the author points out that the wise man is the one who ignores the wrongs of the others done to him. As he has much more to do in the present and future rather than considering his past matters. As wrongs in the past cannot be changed because they are irrevocable, one should move on. Bacon explains the logical argument for why should one look for to harm others. As one doesn't go wrong for the wrong, wrong sake, to him one might get some profit by harming others or some pleasure like a artist to achieve something, some honor. If these could be the reasons to do wrong with others, then one should not avenge them as you cannot hate someone because they love themselves more than you. So further, he adds that, Bacon adds that, if someone is doing wrong because of their ill nature and they are just like thorns and briars that can only cut and scratch. So here, uh, the theme of our uh, essay of revenge is 
forgive them and move on. Don't take revenge and don't avenge the other person. So this will be the our critical analysis of uh, revenge essay.